Okay. Hello, it's Catalina, and it's time to get healthy. <laughs> um, this is going to be probably the most important video that I'll ever do, and I might do different versions of it uh, because there's so many recipes, but this is really important. It's because it's the green smoothie video. And uh, the green smoothie, which is nothing new to those of us in LA, because um, you know it's been around for a while and it's getting very exotic. People are adding things like mangosteen and maca. Um, but I'm just gonna make a really good old fashioned green smoothie. And the reason for green smoothies and the reason they're so important is because it's a concentration of minerals and vitamins and phytonutrients and everything you need to sustain life. So we want to gather all this, concentrate it, liquefy it, and make it delicious so that it doesn't taste like lawnmower juice. And you can have this every day. For those of you who don't want to take a multivitamin or a vitamin or supplements, we'll get to you in another video later. But you can do this kind of green smoothie every morning as a meal supplement and it gets you a long way. Because minerals and concentrated liquefied fruits and vegetables equal alkalization, equal tissue oxygen, equal health and wellness, okay? In order to get the antioxidants from a peach from 1950, you have to eat 52 peaches today. 52 peaches. So, this just speaks about the quality of our soil and, and how we need to get a lot more veggies in our diet um, to make up for what's lost in just one little peach. So I have some other things and items that I usually add to mine, and these are all supplements. Um, this is a, a green smoothie made by Premier Research Labs, uh, not green smoothie, a greens powder. And this is one called Vitality Super Greens by Body Ecology, also delish. Um, they also make, Body Ecology makes potent proteins, which is uh, fermented spirulina, so it adds more uh, protein to your uh, uh, green smoothie. I put pink salt in mine and this isn't Himalayan salt, okay? I need to stress that because this has come up a lot lately. I'm not big on the Himalayan salt thing. This is Hawaiian sea salt and this is uh, Mediterranean sea salt and really really rich in minerals, lots of minerals, very good for you, very alkalizing once again. Um, coconut oil, really good coconut oil by Premier, love Premier. Um, a little stevia to sweeten it up. I'm not a huge fan of the stevia in my smoothie, but if you've got kids, you need to sweeten this up or they're not going to drink it, especially because it's green. Um, these are made by Barleen's. They are uh, EFA oils and they're flavored. The orange one is awesome. It tastes like a creamsicle. And uh, the berry is nice as well. And you get your EFAs in there and they don't even realize they're getting all this healthy goodness. Uh, this is a cocoa biotic. This is one of Donna Gates, uh, the Body Ecology fermented cocoa, um, uh, coconut kefir beverages. Fantastic. Tons of probiotic goodness. You can also put coconut kefir, which will be one of my other videos. All of these things just add more and more and more nutrition to what you're, you know, to this drink. So that's the goal here, is to get as much nutrition in this drink as possible. But we're not going to add any of that. We're going to keep this simple for those people out there who are new to this. So I have here a little, probably one big fat handful of, um, of spring mix. Just the one in the little box at the grocery store. I've rinsed it off and I'm going to put it into my Vitamix. I have one bunch of parsley that I'm also going to use. It is hot up here. It's cooking today, let me tell you. It's like 100 degrees, and these lights make it like 1,000 degrees. Yum! Pineapple. Love it. Pineapple's good because it takes that bite out of the greenness of this. Um, now I'm going to put a banana. I don't usually put this much fruit in it, but... Oh, flies. Um, I have two lemons. This is from my friends, uh, Judy and Andy's backyard, their um, beautiful lemons. I'm putting half of a lemon, um, peeled, but I'm leaving all the seeds and everything in it. The seeds are actually quite good for you. They have pectin in them, and the pectin helps to remove chemical toxicity from like all of your glands in your body, like your thyroid, your parathyroid, and stuff like that. Cucumber, this is like a half a cucumber. 
And this is the most important part. This is where everybody messes up. When I first made this, I was like, I ain't drinking that. You gotta put a lot of water in it. Lots and lots of water. Okay. And then you put on the lid and give it a spin. Rule number one. Plug it in. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. How this looks. See, this is easy. The idea also is that you want to prep this stuff beforehand. So, say you're off on a Sunday, cut up your pineapple, cut up your cucumbers, put everything in a big Tupperware in the fridge, get your lettuce ready, get everything ready, and stick it in the fridge. That way, in the morning, it's going to take you what this didn't even take me three minutes to do. I mean, if I wasn't talking so much, it would have taken me two. So that's nice and foamy. It's going to settle. If you put some of the EFAs in it, it makes it, it emulsifies it more with the banana and everything, so it's more like a shape. Mm. The pineapple completely makes this not veggie. It turns it into something tropical. So easy, so good for you. You add this stuff, you are well on your way to alkalizing your body. So, I did take a question. I got a bunch of questions emailed to me. Thank you so much because um, if you email me questions to my Facebook and as soon as my uh, page, my website launches, then we can, um, we can do it on this, the website. But for now, just email them to me uh, on Facebook. And the question that I took this time was, are, can are green smoothies good for people who have candida? This is a great question. Candida, for those of you who may not know, is a, is a fungus that everyone has in them. It's actually our friend. It's kind of like mucus and cholesterol. These things are actually in our body to try to protect us. And um, same with candida. But it can get overgrown and become pathogenic, pathogenic uh, for various reasons that we can talk about later. But green smoothies actually help clean out the cells. They help to, again, alkalize the body. An alkalized body, or I should say a normalized body, because you don't want to be alkaline. You want to be normalized. A normalized body is not a friendly place for pathogens. It's not a happy environment for bad guys. So yes, it's very good for people with candida. Here's the caveat, no fruit. Sorry. Fruit can aggravate fungal infections. But what is a good idea is like avocado, coconut oil, lots of probiotics like coconut kefir. You can put lots of this green stuff. These supplements are fantastic for it, fermented spirulina. These things eat candida. They destroy candida and they help chelate heavy metals. They help do all these amazing things that actually drive candida. So awesome question. And I hope that answered it. Send me your questions, like my page, and share this video so everyone can hear it and see it.